It's tough to call, to be honest. Definitely is. Look at that streak. It's not Ooh. quite as telling as what we're really looking at. Yeah. But it could be it could be very interesting. We'll see that as we're on to PS2, the classic battleground for these two. Let's move on into it. Fortune, where do the chips fall? Who do you reckon is gonna take it first? Maybe Emacs and then Darkstalker downloads? Yeah, I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Darkstalker download is a very scary thing. Yeah. And it's something that has been very, very prevalent here at Meltdown. Yeah. But Emas, one of the UK's finest, not to say Darkstalker isn't, but Emas has been solidifying it recently. He so I'm very curious to see how it goes. Oh, very hard read. Out, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Emas been a massive, massive fan of these down air into up smash. And like, fair enough, that's like the most obvious Joker yeah, combo as <laughs> a fantastic Buster Wolf comes out. And now we're just taking it a little slow there, Fortune. Taking it easy as Smash comes out. But Go is still online for Dark Sorger, so this could go very bad for Emas unless he takes the stop right now. Yeah, no, he's got to pick it up very, very quickly. Oh. Geyser, that's almost a kill, Fortune. Jeez, but he gets back our set. Yeah, we do. <laughs> if you knock him down, he gets right back up, but it's going to be Dark Stalker with the advantage rising tackle. That high school student's a little bit heavy. A few too many, uh, what's the what's the burger in Persona 5 called? Like the Galaxy? The Big, big, the big Bang Burger, burger yeah. yeah. A few too many of those bad boys. <laughs> As Don taking a set him off screen. Looking pretty rough for Emas here. Rough opener. Yeah. Well, we all know what Emas is like. He can bring it back. Certainly can. He's got that Leo energy. Yeah. Right, you can't count him out. And looking at the gauge, Arsene will be out again soon. That right, Arsene almost here. Should be popping out straight after yeah. this combo. Ooh, very Ooh. eager combo there. We come on out, dash attack just to keep him on his toes. Yep. Power duck! Fantastic stuff. And Emas is a massive fan, especially today, of landing Ooh, on down Dark Stalker with Ooh. these spikes. Because Dark Stalker doesn't have the best vertical out of shield option, and yep. so it's such a great punish if you land it. And as I said, Emas has a very good um, way of bringing things back. And look, it's nearly even already. Yeah, it's looking fantastic now as he's sent out with a power dunk. Emas could bring it back now. There's no Arsene in sight, but there's no go button either. Yeah. Has been a mash on shield, but there's the nice potatoes. So it's about to send him out. You've got to wonder, is Emas going to try and shake this out without the Arsene? Or is he going to try and slow it down a bit? Try and get a little bit more oomph, Ooh. but that's hard to that's DI. Hard to it, yeah. With the rage as well, well, a little bit of rage. Unfortunate, <laughs> very, very unfortunate. Or some would say misfortunate, <laughs> Wee. As nice. it is, it's going to be Darkstalker taking the first game. I could definitely see Emas downloading this and bringing it back game two, but Darkstalker could also run away with it. Yeah. With go. So yeah, and once again, it could go either way. You're absolutely right when you say that both these players, like you mentioned the comeback, fa you mentioned the download factor of Dark Stalker, it's the comeback factor of Emas. Like both of them, it's such a scary and exhausting, like, like region of readaptation between these two. You never quite know where it's going to go. Yeah. As we've got fantastic string from Emas there, not quite enough to get anything to fall out of it. Fantastic SDI as the crack shoot comes out as well. Perfect parry, not able to get much out of that, but there's another power dunk, and you can just see the damage rising so, so quickly, so volatile there, Fortune. Emas just tries to get something started, but Dark Stalker just breaks it. That's exactly, exactly right. Arsene's here to play, and that's actually a pretty good time to grab him, but you can't roll out of a burning knuckle. Ooh, trying to go for those spikes again. He knows that that's a massive win condition for him. Definitely. Obviously, 39, not going to be a killer. Also just came out and just leaves the battlefield just like He's that. gone. He's out. He's and out. He's Joker. left. He's gone. He's out. <laughs> He's gone with us in. Exactly. Two bros. They go down together. That's what matters. As Darkstalker in a pretty healthy position here, Fortune. Definitely. See what we can do. What do you oh. reckon? Emas's plan here is, what do you think he can do to try and skeeve himself a little bit of advantage? Well, looking at that gauge, Arsene will be back online very soon, so if he can just hang in there, or maybe he won't need Arsene, because I know the jackdown combo is definitely confirming to a kill. He's got that right, we could just smell a down smash in the water, but I can get a whiff of a bit of a power geyser too. But like you said, Fortune, Arsene's here to play, let's see if these back airs can get the job done. 
or if Terry's go will get rid of him once He's again. He's looking for these spikes. <laughs> he wants him. He wants the spike up smash. Back hit is there. We have a ledge jump. Ooh, dash attack. Not quite the hardest of punishes, but if he can get a spike, he's looking for it. Two's not going to do it, oh. but he does get the turn oh, around. No. Good wave dash onto the platform as well. Dante is steaming like a rice ball right now. Can he push it all the way? Falling aerials. He must definitely need to take this stop really quickly or this will look like it's going to be very difficult for him to come back at. As there I said, that he takes the stock. Fantastic stuff. He knows that Darkstalker loves to roll behind him, and so he is going to try and cover both options with a down air. You know, a little bit faster start than the neutral air in the terms of, like, the blade doesn't rotate around you. Yeah. So it's a nice option, you know? It's pretty good. Yeah. Meanwhile, our good buddy Arsene is back. Yep. Those guns really, really keeping him at bay, but you can't do it for long. It's a raging ball there, and he is seeing red. The red does happen to, unfortunately, be your percentage there as the down air into back air. Going nice and deep for this one. Wow, and just like that, he must have to lead. Exactly. Fantastic work there. Really doing a good job at forcing Darkstalker into uncomfortable situ situations, even. But how long as can well. he keep this lead? Yeah, that is true. 175 is pretty good. Couple of Aeons, but that's got to be it. But that slender teenager. Oh, yeah. He is going to fall out of the rising tackle, confirm. Keeping him on bay, keeping a fantastic work there, but the power dunk is not going to work. I'm losing all my words, Fortune <laughs> Christ. The action is just a bit too intense for me. Definitely a lot going on. Emas doing a very good job of keeping his lead up, keeping his distance, making Dark Stalker approach and punishing those approaches. Have you ever seen a Joker last this long? Can we see 200? Oh. Can we see anything <laughs> we at all? <laughs> Alas, he did well. 115 is some credit. And he's looking to cash in now. Down air coming through, trying to read the roll as well. Props him up, sends him down, oh. smashes him into the air. And as I said, Emas is very good at downloading. And it looks like the download definitely helped him out here. You're damn right, Fortune. You called it and more. It's one-to-one -one right now in this grand final. Dark Stalker has a hell of a road in front of him if he wants to take this back. This next thing is definitely going to be interesting. So it is. Running it back. You better get used to these characters. We're not seeing any other stages. We're not seeing any counter picks. These two will go at it. We might as well just swap it to like 20 stocks and just let them. <laughs> we can all go home early. We can just let them at it, you know? As you move back into it. Going to see if Darkstalker can adapt to this uh, this slightly different arsenal that Emas is pulling out. You know, he's really abusing these spikes. He's really abusing landing vertically on shield. Going to see if Darkstalker can find a way out of it. Because the rising tackles aren't really connecting into confirm. So maybe I'm going to pull him out just to sort of act as an anti air. As Parry comes out. Definitely notice that Emas is trying to keep his distance a lot. And then once Darkstalker goes in, then that's when he goes in and just punishes, does the damage, and then backs out again, gives him the space and forces him to approach. Yeah, really, really showcasing how well the bait and punish playstyle of Joker is formed now as Arsene is here. Gonna see if he can make it. Ooh, a little defensive from Darkstalker there. <laughs> he's going for spikes, <laughs> he's going for back airs. He's telegraphing it. Aegon coming out, nice and dark, forcing him up. He definitely has to really play defensive here. Oh, maybe not, he has go, so yeah. he can definitely rush in. And you saw Emas went for us up smash there just to try and catch him. Clashed a little bit, but if he had got it, that would have been massive. Downward guns. Arsene's not here to play no more. Power dunk. He didn't even need go to kill him. That's how it goes. That is how it goes. As he sent off. Can we find all oh, fantastic confidence to get the runoff fair as well? Connects both hits. Sends him nice and low. Oh, nice and the down there. Patented Emas runoff stage. Yes. That's what you love to see. Look at nice and even right now. These two trading blows in such different ways. It's so, so interesting to see. Just two completely different play styles. All out aggression versus technical spacing. Let's see what we can do. The string from Emas there. Gonna see if Darkstalker is gonna make his way back up to go and pay him back in spades. Or if Arsene's gonna look to end this very, very quickly. Almost there. One more hit will do it. The grab, fantastic stuff, forces him off. Are we going to go deep there, fella? Ooh, goes for the double jump. Manages to get back on stage. Oh, that RP is not going to do it. Darkstalker knows he's looking for those vertical attacks, and so he goes for the early rising tackle, and it pays off. The shield poke. Ooh, it's not looking good there. Down tilt two frame. Nice back here. 
Oh, the counter definitely going to catch that, and that's going to be the stop one. Fantastic stuff. Looks like Emas has Darkstalker on the ropes, even gets a nice cheeky back air from Arsene at a fresh percent. That's what you love to see. Let's see if Darkstalker can adapt. He's just slamming options. He's approaching Fortune, but can he take it home? Looking very difficult for him right now. Very, very difficult indeed. You got that right, but maybe he can find a way in. Fantastic coverage. Emas is just choosing options that really cover everything Darkstalker wants to accomplish. He's so, so reliably going to pick an aggressive option, and if you can stun him out, well, you can stun out the player himself. His advantage is too powerful, but his advantage has given in go, so if Terry can get back on stage, Big no, that's if. going to be it. Fantastic stuff. And like you can see the small things that Emas are doing that really makes this difficult. So like his forward tilt, he's angling it down so that Darkstalker is sent at a more awkward angle. So yeah. it means, oh, if I want to go down there, I can. Yeah. Smart fella. Never let it. Smart fella. He's definitely looking very tough for Darkstalker, but we all know what he's like. We all know what Go can do, what he can do. So Whew. we certainly do. Fun. So I was. Uh, well, I mean, I saw. Um, I saw a tweet from Emas because uh, you know this. Um, he's lost very few tournaments recently. Yeah. And MCQ, he came second. You know, very very close set against uh, Maze Beans. Yeah. And when he tweeted about, it, when he talked about it afterwards, he said, "I tend to. You know, my disadvantage. I tend to kind of default. I do the same stuff." And he's like, "I find it really frustrating." Yeah. So. If Darkstalker can expose that, it'll be great. It but if he's fixed it <laughs> in those few days, <laughs> it's looking pretty rough. Yeah. What do you reckon there, Fortune? I feel like Darkstalker can do it, but Emas is constantly growing and adapting, so it's definitely going to be hard for him. I think I would agree. Are we going to see another one of those counters? Let's find out. Ooh, a couple of nares. Oh, oh, just mixing up the options. Online. The DLC power-ups are here. The 599 is oh. here. Going to miss that oh. counter, and he's going to die for it. Thanks to go. Fantastic stuff. Beautiful guys are there to come to jump. Let's see if he's going to fall for that too often. That, that, that was that was the input. <laughs> but he's just keeping the pressure on. That's what matters. Power wave just to cross out the aggressive option as well. Arsene is back once again. Oh, air dodge was a bit risky. Not killing him just yet, though. He's definitely looking rough for Emas. Even with Arsene out, he can't really get in, and that's what he needs with Arsene. Now, this is what you like to see. Air oh. dodge to dodge the back air, but... The There's song. a second one waiting for you. Kick back, crack, shoot, whatever you want to call that bad boy. As there's the power dunk, sends him out. Woo, that fella's pretty hefty. You never forget. Hard for Emas to catch up, but he can do it. There's another one. Rising attack, we're going to do it this time. That's going to be it. That's going to be the stock. And now, after what looked pretty decisive, Dark Stalker's in a good position. Yeah. As we move on into it. Oh man, the download could be here. Emas just not able to get these kind of power spikes he's looking for. And speaking of spikes, gonna see if he can go all the way off. Take the platform, knew it was coming. Nice and slow. Back air out of shield, eats the AR. Up tilt, sends him up. Can we see a tether? It's quite gonna happen. Oh, that's gotta oh, be that it. Was nice. Smell it in the water, Mr. Tech. And just like that, Darkstalker has lost his lead. Well, mostly. I would say this is looking pretty even. A Terry without Go and a Joker with Arsene. Yeah, as I said, it is dead even. This could be it right now. Darkstalker needs a miracle, or less he needs something spicy, as we're in a bit of an aerial assault here. Going to see if Darkstalker can pull all the way. Fortune, what do you reckon? Where are we going? What do we got? I don't think he needs a miracle. I think he just needs Go, and Joker is that giving that to him right now. Getting awfully close, getting awfully spicy. If we can get a kill before go, it's going to be good. But he's ticking up there, Fortune. He's awful close. There's a rising tackle. Oh, is that going to be it? Not oh, quite nice yet. DI. Still a bit too hefty. Yeah. Stalker oh, goes to the shoulder barge. Be it, Fantastic. And Darkstalker ties it up. Just keep downloading each other. It's just so back and forth between these two. And you called it. You called it so perfectly at the start there, Fortune. <laughs> These two players are all about, you can never count either of them out. Yeah. Playing at this level and still being able to pull out tricks, still being able to readapt. Woo! Yeah. Crazy stuff. One of them can free stock one game and the other one can free stock the other game. <laughs> it's, just, it's so crazy between these two. Well, maybe we should flip a coin, see who is going to be taking it this time. 
could see the reset or we could see the end of the tournament. We're either getting the early train home or we're sitting for another five. <laughs> Let's find out. See what happens now. Just a little bit of footsie right now, trying to fill each other out. This is always the most important part of these games, this first stock. Especially when you're so deep in a 2-2, you got to figure out what your opponent is starting to default to. Definitely. As Arsene's looking pretty good. The timing here is definitely in Emas's favor. But Darkstalker, definitely not one to camp out uh, Arsene. More one to beat him out of you. Can we get Spike? No. Nope. No, we cannot. Oh, it does get the power of the power dunk. That is Arsene gone, and Terry quickly approaching go, so... And it's like a pendulum, right? Like, it swims in different ways. We had the Arsene, you had your chance to beat him. <laughs> nope, sucks to be you. We got go now. He didn't even need go to take that stock yeah, no, and it now, so... That's a fantastic Imas point. could go to a quick throw to death, zero to 50, if he does not get rid of Terry right now. And as I say that, nice catch on the back end. Yeah, good stuff. Definitely nipped it in the bud. Really what Emas needed there as we're back. Once again to an even game. Could go anywhere. But it's Emas looking pretty, pretty good. Getting all these hard reads on the recovery options. Air dodge back to the stage. This could be it. That's looking pretty rough. Another air dodge. Rinse, repeat, fortune, my eyes. It's looking so strong right now. What can Dark Stalker do about it? He, he didn't even anything. need to do that one. He doesn't. He's just saying, I don't need Arsene. I can edge guard you and I can give you 100% damage without him. But as I say that, Arsene comes in, Terry has go. The DLC powers are definitely out to play once again. Definitely. And Emas got me feeling a little rough about that one because Darkstalker was actually dead on those oh, edge guards, but he buffers an air dodge. Yeah, and that's going to be the stop. Happens to all of us. We've all oh, been there. This can be. Oh, this could be the end of the tournament or it could go on to reset. Let's see how Terry plays this out. Let's see what we can do. Bunning up with a come through. Gonna see if he can close the distance. 116 on that Joker. 129 almost at rising tackle kill power. That might do it. That's gonna yeah, do that'll it. do yep. it. As we move on in, we are at tournament stock now. Fortune, where are the chips falling? Who do you reckon's taking oh. it? Well, our Senate is quickly building up. Even though we all know Dark Soccer doesn't need go to take a stock, but. Emas has been looking pretty dominant. Arsene's going to come online, and if he edge guards him, that could be the end of this tournament. Certainly could. Arsene almost here to play Fortune. This could be oh, it. He as sent I him said, off. He's off stage. You Arsene might be right. Oh, barely oh. avoids it with the air dodge there. Fantastic stuff. Power dunk out. And now the rolls are reversed. Can he make it all the way back out? Neutral, they're going to keep him safe. Aegon going wide. Reflector just to keep him on his toes. And Arsene is running out. That pendulum's about to swing. This could be Emas's last chance. Misses the back here, but catches the down smash. Good quick recovery there. 106. Go is here. Do you reckon we oh. can see it there? Fortune rising oh. tackle. And that up B is going to be that. Oh. That little mistake, and that's the end of the set, end of the tournament. Emas takes it, gets his revenge from last week. Fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. Congratulations to Emas. Yeah, and he's got to be feeling good about that one. Oh, definitely. Right? You know, it's it's been it must have been very frustrating coming so close to MCQ, but he's showing that how dominant Emas is. Yeah. He is. He's. I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. He's next gen NK Leo. Oh, <laughs> he's he's got the game that. four comebacks. <laughs> it's his now. He's inherited that spirit from the sky. I definitely agree with that. But congratulations to him. Going to see him tearing it up at any tourney he goes to. Meanwhile, Darkstalker going off to lick his wounds. Yeah, but he will be back next MD probably, and he could take it. Maybe he might not. Who knows? Who knows? You have to tune in and find out, huh? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, any closing thoughts there, Fortune? Uh, sign up to DBZ and Resurgence and Boss Battles. Boss Battles is going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Fantastic stuff. Well, let's wrap it up here. Let's hand it over to Burning for a little bit of... Uh, oh, look at that power stance. Yeah. Look at that. That's good. <laughs> Last time I was this level with Burning, it was in a much darker place. <laughs> um, as, just want to thank you guys. Going to say goodbye. I've been Nut Roast. This has been Fortune. See you guys See very ya. soon. Right. I might have fumbled the bag today, but that's whatever. I got a fifth. Who cares, right? That's right, still so very good. Ah. With Duck Hunt and what's other characters? Did you say Rose? I, I just played Duck Hunt. Oh, okay. Today. It's just Duck Hunt. Okay. But so that's fine. That's okay. 
I did bad towards the end, but I drank too much, and that's what I'm blaming it on. And the fact that ult is bad. Smash 4 is better. I don't care. Anyway, for those of you who can enter DBZ32, please go to DBZ32. Sign-ups are still open until the 19th on Saturday. Saturday? I think that's a Saturday. 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, what are you thinking about? No, that's Sunday. Sunday 1 a.m. Sunday at 1 a.m. is when the uh, sign-ups actually close for DBZ32. We've still got plenty of spaces to come if you're willing to come down. Obviously, well, not obviously, but for those who aren't aware, there is a planned tube strike going on during that day, so I don't know if that affects any of you. But for those of you who are planned to come down for that day, that will be a bit of an issue. So please, if anyone who is coming down to that, please double check. That it's so annoying that that's happened. See you, Phil. So annoying. Yeah. Why, why are they decided? Ah, DBZ32 is on. Let's put a tube strike on. God damn it, man. <laughs> They're doing it on purpose. Anyways. So I want to once again thank my wonderful TO team, Ambler, Aggressive Dark Super, for helping out today. My wonderful commentators, Nut Roast, Sadie here, of course. Everyone else that commentated today. All the people that came to watch, all the people that came to participate, the usuals. And thank you once again to VGBC for letting us do this on their channel. And a big thank you to me for doing sick. Both as a TO and as a player, but that's because I'm lit. But Smash 4 is still better. I don't care if you think Smash 4 is bad. In Ultimate, you could just smash any button you want and get away with it. The most unintuitive <laughs> crap in the world. Anyway, enough of that, right? Enough of that, right? Right. So. Congratulations again to Emaster winning. Darkstalker on second and Zone on third. That is the best we got for tonight. And I don't think, yeah, there's nothing else to plug. Obviously, there's still other UK events follow going me. on. We have regen. I cosplay, yeah. Follow Fortune. <laughs> follow me if you want. I don't care. Follow that team at the that, that team smash. Oh, sorry, my apologies. And of course, VG Bootcamp for allowing us to run our weekly on their channel. Much appreciation to them. That's all we've got for tonight. Thank you to everyone that came in to watch, everyone that came to play, everyone that commented, everyone that helped me with T.O. in. Thank you for riding as, as the usual, usual, Vernon. You and Wade and Super, we appreciate it every week. Anytime.